Hello again. I am Sriram Jayaraman, a student pursuing Masters in Cybersecurity at the University of Waikato, going to present my second paper for the day. This paper is titled Towards Secure Architecture Based Adaptations. The paper is co authored by the well established Danny Waynes, a popular in the self adaptation space. This paper was presented at the Software Engineering for Adaptive and Self-Managing Systems SEAMS conference in 2019 over at Montreal, Canada. Self-adaptive systems are systems that moderate its performance based on its evaluation of its behavior when it finds that it is not accomplishing what the software is intended to do or when better functionality or performance is possible. Current security testing measures focus on the software in the traditional sense, covering the functionalities of the software as an end product of software engineering. However, self-adaptive systems are a complete new genre imbibing new threat vectors. The transition from the current state of the software to the desired state as advised by adaptation could be a multi-step process which could induce threat surfaces on each step. The paper tries to solve problems in this regard with respect to security in self-adaptive systems. Why is it a problem now? As self-adaptive systems are gaining more and more traction, security has become a vital part that needs to be considered. While the methodology of self-adaptation is still in its early stages, considerations to the new threat vectors it brings to the table should also be considered. Moving on, researchers have been established in architecture-based approaches to self-protecting systems before. Extending from this work, a study has been performed in relation to the availability aspect of self-protection with probes to mitigate denial of service. Security analysis for dynamic networks from a network's point of view, that is a network administrator's point of view, is also something that has been touched upon before, even though the application context of it still remains untouched. Other model scaling and network assessment schemes have also been developed such as HARM, which consists of multiple layers of security models and dynamic Bayesian networks that have been used to assess security of networks by considering the evolution of vulnerabilities. Online security risk assessment for self-protection, which takes from a database of attack patterns has also been tried out earlier, but this does not consider self-adaptation. The main idea of the author is simple. They want to perform a vulnerability analysis on self-adapting systems, evaluating security risks in an uncertain environment. The paper focuses on three layers while performing self-adaptation. The configuration, which is the exact state of the settings for that self-adaptation step. Adaptation rule, which governs how these configurations change with respect to the desired behavior. Adaptation layer, which performs the adaptation rule. Upon each step in self-adaptation, all three layers stated above are considered for security analysis. The authors perform a security assessment on self-adaptive systems in a way that is the first of its kind with the usage of dynamic threat modeling based on internal and external vulnerabilities found, this proposal is based of the MAPK loop to implement a relative security loop of sorts to extend the behavior of self-adaptive systems to be able to detect and analyze the security posture. With the proposed and implemented integration with an architecture-based self-adaptive system generation tool like Rainbow, it ensures security from the ground up. The solution integrates the security model devised from earlier into the framework. 
This ensures that not only plain analysis of security threats is performed, subsequent actions to reduce these vulnerabilities is also taken. Thanks to the architecture generation nature of Rainbow. The solution uses the ACME model by the Rainbow model ma manager to define security analysis as strings in the ACME configuration to generate risk analysis models that integrate well with the layers of self-adaptation with which models of this kind are already used. This ensures that the security model is shipped with the software and is able to act on analysis that is procured to intelligently adapt the software based on its security needs. Moving on, the evaluation of this solution is warranted by implementing the solution with a simple document storage and retrieval platform alongside a real world system ZNN. The former setup is as simple as it sounds. It is a platform where users can store and retrieve files whenever needed. This would have a front end setup interacting with a backend, which further interacts with the database for storage and retrieval. This setup also has a guarding component, which was turned off by default. With the threat model having options of either mustering newer front ends or implementing the guarding component for security, the model picks guarding straight off for a high security configuration as newer front ends would mean newer threat vectors. Further on, ZNN, which is a news provider, has a load balancer for delivering and maintaining content with good response times. It is observed that even in low security constructs, low fidelity is preferred, preferred over spinning up new servers, which would add newer threat vectors. The complexity of the threat modeling proposed is found to be higher with every configuration that it takes into account. To optimize this, it is proposed that only the final configuration be measured as it is the biggest threat vector which is going to persist for a really long time. This reduces its complexity a lot. Something that I found interesting in this paper is that self-adaptive systems have been around for a long time and it was only in 2019 that this paper discusses about a seemingly trivial implementation of analyzing security for a self-adaptive environment. However, with good explanation, the paper covers a lot of ground to analyze the complete security suite required for a self-adaptive system. Also, the implementation with a popular framework like Rainbow warrants its applications to see, seem very appealing. That is all I have for now. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. Until next time.